Peyton, thank you. We do continue to fire, follow a fire in an apartment complex in Algiers. Yeah, Duke Carter has been on the uh, West Bank of New Orleans in Algiers at the Cypress Run Apartments. It's a big building and a lot of people are looking for a place to live right now. Yeah, uh, we did speak with fire officials who say 31 people have been displaced because of the fire that happened at around 5 o'clock this morning. Kind of want to give a glimpse of, to our viewers of what we're seeing right now. You can see firefighters just cleaning up some of the ash and the debris, uh, the remains up from the stairwell from the fire. Now, we did learn, according to firefighters, that the first alarm was a little bit before 5 o'clock this morning. We're told that, according to fire officials, that a woman said that there was smoke coming from one of the bedrooms, and eventually that fire this spread to the attic and as you can see the fire well spread to many of the different apartment complexes over and it stopped to uh, uh, well because of a firewall or I should say a brick wall but pretty much we're told according to firefighters that 31 people have been displaced over a dozen fire trucks were on scene we did catch up with a couple of people who have been displaced and a couple of people who lived inside this apartment complex this morning take a listen to what they had to say about the fire um, I was on my sofa asleep, and my neighbor came knocking on the door and told me that our room was on fire. So I just got my sister and my kids out the house. What time was this? Probably about 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I just just ran down to another building, and a fire truck pulled up. I thought they had it under control, but yeah, it got worse. Oh, I, I looked out, and as I looked out, I saw the smoke. So I ran, told him I needed to go back in the apartment because my son, my disabled son was in there. So he was like, you got to get out now. I said, no, I have to get my disabled son out. And of course, the good news is that no injuries as far as residents. Now, we did learn that one firefighter was injured, but nothing major hasn't been taken to the hospital or anything like that. But the good news is no lives were lost. Unfortunately, though, people right now are going to have to try to find a home for the holidays, especially with well, the holidays coming up right around the corner. 31 people have been displaced because of this fire. Now, the root cause of the fire is still under investigation. But, of course, if anything does develop, we'll let you know. But for now, they're reporting live here in Algiers. Stu Carter, Eyewitness News.